The other important lesson that he taught me was the way you approach a person will determine how that person treats you. And don't ever allow the enemy to determine the grounds for battle. Now, in 1997, it's a lot of detail, sorry, um, but in 1997, the, the head of the South African Rugby Union, um, Mr. Mandela, established a commission of inquiry to look into rugby affairs in South Africa. So Dr. Louis Leut was the president of the rugby union, and it was a private body, so constitutionally the president couldn't really establish a, an inquiry into a private body. And Dr. Leut challenged Mr. Mandela's or the president Mandela's and the presidency um, their right to establish this commission. And we went to court. Mr. Mandela insisted that he's not above the law and he wanted to defend himself. And even his lawyer said, you don't have to appear in court personally. Um, you know, we, we the lawyers, we'll deal with it. And he insisted. He wanted to defend his de decision. And as we walked into court that day, he walked right up to Dr. Loit's lawyers. And, you know, I was 25 by then. I was still a little chihuahua getting excited about nothing. Um, <laughs> And I wanted to stop him, and I wanted to say, you're greeting the enemy. Don't do that. You know, it's the wrong people. I thought he was confusing them or something. <laughs> and I was angry, and at tea time I asked him, why did you do that? And he said, by doing that, I neutralized the ground. I didn't allow them to determine the grounds for battle. This was not a personal, this is not a personal matter. We'll deal with it by, with the law. Um, so let's not make it a personal battle. And he said, emotionally, we already won the case halfway. Needless to say, we lost. But um, <laughs> it was later overturned. The decision was later overturned by the appeals court. And President Jacques Chirac paid a state visit to South Africa that year, shortly after the court case. And Mr. Mandela called me, well, President Mandela called me, and he said to me, please invite Dr. Loit's lawyers to the state banquet. And I said, I, I said, yes, now sure, Mr. President, I'll do that. But I knew I was not going to do it, and I thought, you know, I'm just going to pretend I forgot about it. Um, because I was still angry at them for humiliating the President by challenge, challenging his decisions. So I pretended to forget the next morning Mr. Mandela called again. Did you invite Dr. Loit's lawyers? I said, no, not yet, but today I will. And I thought, I'm not. And the next day... <laughs> And the next day he called again, and I thought, you know what, I'm really going to be in trouble if he gets to the banquet and they're not there and he, and he starts looking for them. And what did he do? At the banquet, he called Dr. Loit's lawyers, the only people out of 700 people to come and meet President Chirac. I mean, that's a good and expensive lesson on how you deal with the enemy.